Okay, here we are at Clark Auction Gallery. We're here today previewing our sale coming up on Sunday, February the 19th. So if you forget to buy your Valentine's present or something, you can always come here afterwards and buy it. Or if you're just looking for some great items, you can come here. This sale is loaded. If you're going to go to any sale on the weekend of February the 19th, this is the place to be because we have the mother load. So without further ado, let's try and get through a lot of this. Obviously, I've forgotten a lot of names that I didn't learn in the first place. So you will go to clarkmy.com to find out. We have a nice pair of these, sort of vintage, probably 40s, 50s pair of gilt, ebonized carved eagle consoles. I top that a wonderful, the fact that we have a pair, of nice back rack quality, great bronze work in these. We have a nice pair of these, look large size centerpieces. We have a set of six of these chairs, all in good shape, good and sturdy, wonderful lines on them, great looking chairs, nice to have a set of six with the carved and the gilding there. Here we have this 19th century uh, bomb commode, as you like it. It's got parquetry inlay, big, large bronze mounts, beautiful curving, nice thick specimen type marble on the top. This came from a Scarsdale estate. Atop this, this came from East 64, so absolutely the best. Big, large size, wonderful winged mermaids over there. Winged figure here carved urn of flowers, just really beautiful, nice gilding, all beveled, paneled, etched, as you like it, as Shakespeare would say. Below that, this actually is in the next cell, so we'll skip over that. It's a nice Vienna vase. Here's the other of the uh, two centerpieces. Okay, here we're from Scarsdale. We have a pair of these wonderfully carved with the hoof feet on them, nicely carved all over, nice needle point upholstery. In between this, this Italian Desk. This came from Hewlett, Long Island. Nice with the leather top, good age, nice patina. And this absolutely wonderful gilt bronze centerpiece and top sign, August Moreau. Look at the big size and the gilding is as you like it, ready to go. Really beautiful. That came from East 64 Street. Adds did this pair of marble pedestals here. We won't confuse you. We'll point them out over here. Nice pedestals with the bronze mounts underneath. Nice and white pedestals. Nice to have the pair. We can slip over here from the same estate, a pair of onyx or alabaster. I topped that, these, these candelabras are actually in the next sale, so we'll skip them. This marble too, the inset marble, look at the bronze work, the parquetry inlay on this. Really beautiful, couldn't find a signature, but there might be one somewhat hidden somewhere. This came from a Long Island estate. Okay, moving over here. These items here, this console here, nice ebonized gilt to the mirror back from East 64th Street, as is this. This is what you call vintage, not overly old. Nice at the bevel marble top with the winged fairies underneath. On top this large bronze, plenty of bronzes. I mean, just, you've got to go online because I can't remember these. My poor Irish mind doesn't handle it. But look at the nice size of this. Might be Villanus. Over here, we're calling this stone or marble. It's very heavy, might be hollow, but we're selling out that good looking fellow on top of it there. So a very decorative piece there. Came from White Plains Estate, along with lots of other great items. Here, this Chesterfield, nice sort of with a worn, sort of has a Ralph Lauren look on the leather. This is, uh, we have two of these, this is a nice size, some like a little scratching on it, but I'm sure a little bit of uh, leather polish would deal with that. Into the main room, it is chocker blocker with just the best and best of stuff. We have bronzes, carpets, lighting, sculpture, military badges, you name it, we have it. But here on the mid-century section, this just came in recently, so Check it on the website. This is by Silas Shondell. It's signed and dated. Nice big size, bronze size, silvered metal on top. Atop this, this is sort of a bit like a toy, but it's actually by an artist called John Koch. Here we have this. This is uh, after Alana Gore, the Israeli patinated bronze, slightly as is an old repair somewhere on it. Here we have the other Chesterfield sofa, beautiful, nice wear on it as you like it. Over here. Some of the bronzes here, look at the size of these, good weight of these. These came from Nike, pairs of chair of bronze with the big oval globe, etched globes on, mint and porcelain here. We have a nice set of five, a nice set of six sconces. Are you going to put them on the ceiling here? We have a pair of sconces, Italian or French, after Serge Moule. Below there, a collection of hat moulds. I believe there's even a peaky in there somewhere. Maybe I can make my own hat soon. Up here, nice piece of mid, nice shaped and colorful piece of mid-century pot pottery there by Portemir, I believe. We have Van Briegel, Rookwood, Hagenar style bronzes. We have this really nice dome. 
cameo glass. This large piece here is by Brammel, Peter Brammel. These two here, one is by uh, Sap Sakwa, the other one is by Mel Linquist. Below here, a really beautiful pair of candelabra. It's absolutely Baccarat quality, a beautiful little urn finial and the finely cut came from white plains after Chaparis bronze. We have Baccarat glass. This is a nice piece of a rare form of KPM there. We have Lalique, we have Italian porcelains, we have a nice collection of vintage toys in the sale, including Star Wars and these. We have Lalique. This is a nice signature by, after, uh, by Neil Armstrong. This large bowl here, look at the size of my hand. I love this bowl, look at that. It's Murano Battuto. Next to it, sort of Moser style glass, Tiffany bookends, or Tiffany uh, blotter ends. Below here we have a three-piece Sevs garniture set, really large size, best of quality. Years ago they would have gone bananas for it. I think they'll still like it. From the same estate, this was all on 64 C. We have a lot of Murano glass. A lot of it coming in the next set, but let's say we have two of these table lamps. Up here we've got lots of, we've got English porcelain here, center pieces. We've got carriage clocks, we've got Danish porcelain. While I'm here, in case I forget it during the art, we have this really wonderful after Guy Wiggins oil and panel. And but on our next sale, we actually have two Guy Wiggins paintings, so watch out for them. More bronzes. These three bronzes are different than the usual Bergman, but nice big size. We got Indians and horses, the canoe, so Franz Bergman. Below here, more Murano. Just a few of the clocks we have here. You'd be insane to think that with my memory, I could remember them. But anyway, come and view the sale. Do not miss it or go to clarkeny.com. More abstract bronzes, mid-century. This mid-century dresser, nice the little tile inserts here. This table here, I really like. It's very stylish with the fluted legs and the inlay on the top and has six chairs, all original. This is by Tommy Parzinger. Here we have this big porcelain charger. We'll just have a look at the back of that. That's by Sevs, also 64th Street. We've got this nice art glass unsigned. Here, this is Brasilia by Broy Hill, more mid-century. This is a set of Swedish chairs, but really nice lines and nice to have a set of them. This bronze here, I believe, is by Grigore. Look at the gilding on this. No sign of the signature of this, but this 19th century, wonderful quality, wonderful gilding. This came out of 64th Street. Moving right up here, look at this. Probably Royal Vienna, also 64th Street. This is from Nyack, this mid-century uh, table. Sort of we called it after Franklin because of the cork insert at the top, but a very stylish, nice with the colors, the ebonizing and the white. Atop this, once again, 64th Street. These were on top of those two white pedestals. These were lit up. Alabaster, really beautifully carved, but a big, large size. And the center bowl there for putting our bananas. Here from Nyack, a nice tambour front, mid-century ebony cabinet on, ebonized cabinet on stand, mid-century chairs, Regency cabinets, French day bed here, 19th century. Used furniture, some nice bomb, probably mid-century commodes. Large pair of bronze candelabra. Came from Hewlett. Reproduction, nice inlay, nice quality marble top cabinet here. Once again, keep an eye on all the bronzes we have in the sale and all the mirrors on the back walls. We've got pedestals, we have clocks. This is a very nice pair from Scarsdale. Nice pair of, I would say, Italian, but good size nightstands inlaid all over. Pair of love seats. We've got um, beautiful lighting in this sale. We'll just flip through these quickly. Bronze mount with the grapes and the flowers. This is sort of after Paul Frankel as well, or Paul Evans with the thing. Murano, now we have a lot of Murano chandeliers in the sale. They are actually old, but they're new stock. The person who owned the store died and the stuff has been in stock since the 70s and 80s. So we got a lot of chandeliers, perfect mint. He came in and put them together here, so keep an eye. Nice American period desk here. Nice with the dovetailing on top, not overly in vogue at the moment, but still nice to have. We have this bow front, banded and inlaid. Baker, sideboard. Large sconces, look at the size of these. Beautiful quality with the ribbon top. Another ribbon pair up there. More scon more candelabra here. Look at these with the bat on top of them. These came from Hewlett. So you really have to go on to the side or you'll miss 
because I'm missing it, just walking along. Here's a nice 18th century cabinet. Look, one, two, three drawer, nice of the inlay on top of it. This came from right here in Larchmont, so I'm glad to have that. We have a set of these mahogany chairs. I believe it's a set of 10, so good to have 10, even though they're mahogany. We've got this double hump secretary. We've got a banded table. I believe it's by Kittinger here. We have a lot of boating from a dear old friend of mine that passed away in Larchmont. Uh, this, we have, it looks like a schooner nearly, and we've got uh, half holes. We've got lots of dioramas as well. Running down here quickly, look at this large chandelier with the patinated cherubs. Nice French glass below that. We've got Egyptian revival bronze chenets, demi loon tables. We have a wonderful pair of these leather wing back chairs. We just moved that good looking fellow off them there for a while. We have a lot of, a lot of drawings of good looking fellows here in the sale, so check them out. They're extremely well done. 19th century French here from Greenwich. We have a Queen Anne and a nice period upholstered chair in Ottoman here. Really great, the old patina. Nice quality. Chinese gong, bouillot tables, pair of these candelabras to give you an idea of the size, not signed but great gilding on them. Moving right along, <coughs> a nice Philadelphia centre table. We have this chandelier, once again, like those sconces, we are calling after Serge Moule. Great, bit like a spider or a daddy long legs there, but sitting below it, fits nicely. There's this Hans Wagner uh, peacock chair, probably from the 60s. And we have a pair of pretzel chairs. Slightly as is, but still in pretty good shape. A little bit of damage there, some off. We have this leather clad commode. We're going to swing back up here. We have a pair of these Oh, what's that? The dolphin, <laughs> dolphin tables. Mid-century style chairs with the, the, the sheep must have fallen asleep on top of it. Here we have this brick form table. It is as is, so I've got to make sure we announce that, but it could be cut along there on each side and you'd make it into it. A lot of interest in that brick table. This, it's absolutely really wonderful, wonderfully done. This is wax and it's of an African-American lady. Boss, look at the quality of this. Apparently unsigned. You know, you'd like to have Elizabeth Catlett or something written on it. We have this, beautiful. We have these pair of, uh, once again, dolphins. I seem to be getting, forgetting the word dolphin. Bronze, nice, two stands, a pair of them. We have this table with the large winged nude figures with the marble insert. This very large pair of, I call them mare horses, but I was correct in that to change the name, but nice big pair of bronzes, nice for outside the house. George Smith pair of club chairs in great shape and extremely comfortable. Dunbar tables, mid-century brutalist tables, Japanese bronze stairs are really comfortable. As you can see, we've been sitting on it all week. There's a George Smith two-seater sofa. More busts. Absolutely wonderful Edwardian claw foot inlaid little parlor set chair, chair armchair, settee. Look at this Barbidienne, beautiful bronze. Bronze candelabra, these came from Hewlett. Nice empire style. This here, carved wood, the cherubs holding up the marble top. Another large marble here on top of it. Nice pair of spricked lamps, religious there, so you can set up your own church up in your house. Nice pair of, not overly old vintage, but nice sort of neoclassical andirons. Pair of Italiano tall metal chairs. Nice and comfortable, actually, and they look hard. We have this uh, figural console table with the mirror back. Here, from Hewlett had a lot of car stuff. Look at this, this, just like Horner, there's lions all over, so you can talk to them while you're doing your work. We have this wonderful uh, mid-century brass chair. Look at the lions on that, great quality, heavy duty. This is the chair that goes with the desk. And from the same house, we have this pair of uh, carved throne chairs. Beautiful house down in Hewlett. Look at the gilding on these figures here holding the, holding the wheat. These are from 64, so we have a set of four of these sconces. Not overly old, probably from the 60s or 70s, but really great quality, great gilding. Up on top there, a pair of sort of bag style sconces up there. Long sideboards. Ooh, this has taken a while. Look at this bench, really great. Caned with the heads on it. Nice patina over here. Back to chandeliers for a while. Murano of which we have about five. Like I say, new old stock, so the guy came up here and put them all together. Kamer style chandeliers, carved continental armchair. We have this really nice, this came from Long Island, Victorian bra, sorry, 19th century bronze mounted vitrine mirror back. 
beveled, more candelabras on top of it. Nice period American chest here. Stands nicely, has a great patina, has a lot of presence. Look at that, and the drawers open nice and fluently. I quite like that. Here we have a pair of chairs either side, look like eagle heads on them. You can play with those while you're sitting down and the claw feet. The parquetry back in these came from Hewlett and also from Hewlett. This cabinet is signed, look at it. It's really great, it's really useful and it looks super in the house. So it looks super in your house if you have the space. Nice original condition, all goes together so it's easily movable. Here we have a Dunbar dining table. Lots of dioramas go to the site to see how they're lotted. More chandeliers, more chandeliers here. Italian chandeliers. The chandelier here is Caldwell. Really great, good size, looks well up top. This is a guy called James Croke. Must have been a thin fellow who sat inside that. And this is a nice life-size sculpture by James Croke. Comes in the catalog. We have this Girondelle bullseye mirror. Lingerie chest. We're going to glance into the back room. There's lots and lots of stuff there. Oh, you'll have to go in. I was trying to avoid it. But anyway, these bookcases just came in recently. They are uh, Danish, as did this book unit. Sort of Milo Bauman style cabinet there. Lots of used furniture, lots of chandeliers. Chinese bird cages, you name it, it's here. Okay, we're coming down the home run now. If that cameraman can catch up with me, here he comes. Okay, we have nice French cabinets, miniature chests, alabaster, onyx chandeliers. Look at the size of this bronze chandelier with the patinated figures here. And here we have this really nice large eagle sculpture. Beautifully done, beautiful color. You can see the, the eyes are glass on it, sitting on top of this empire table. Over here we have more boats, chandeliers, Large copy of a Remington bronze here. Look at the size of this. It's actually not a, nice, a nice quality copy. We have this big continental co coffer carved down the sides. This came from Long Island. More boats from Larchmont. Here's two more of the chandeliers. This one's sort of my favorite here. Like I say, they're from the 80s, 70s or 80s, but they were in boxes. The guy can put them in this. They've been sitting in the store for years. Okay, here we have a very nice carved lift seat bench came from White Plains. Next set we're going to try and get this in because we were so busy we didn't have time to get in here. We have a mid-century Dunbar table, chairs, possibly Harvey Prober. Nice Danish table on top of that. So with that I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to pass you over to Whitney. I thank you for your patience in watching it and once again do come and view the sale because it is loaded especially Come to see that, uh, if nothing else, come to see the Joan Quick to See Smith paintings because you'll get an early view of them before the uh, Whitney retrospective. Thank you. See you on the 19th.